LCID stock is rallying from the lows of $4.91. Four this was the 52 week low it printed yesterday, the 9th of October 2023. And so far, around 40 million shares have crossed the tape and counting. And uh, let's see, on uh, a couple of its uh, chart charts, we're seeing um, some positive um, signals. Uh, this is the one minute chart, so you really can read a lot. It's, uh, you know, even shorter than short, short this is shorter than the short term so but all in all on this uh, one minute chart regardless of how short term it is there's a high of uh, 5.41 that is uh, projected and uh, let's uh, quickly have a look at the five minute chart it's not that time they are going to help that much they're just so short term because by the time you you're watching this video all of this wouldn't be that much uh, relevant so um, we have a upper projection of 5.32 on this five minute chart we are looking at um, um, a projection that um, the 10 day 10 period moving average on this five minute chart will um, um, lose uh, strength okay so let's look at the one hour chart one hour chart uh, we have um, it's projecting from where from from where we are right now um, some weakness and then some strength okay all of these are still uh, very much uh, short term as well but if we go to the one day chart we have we will see something totally different on the one day chart it's um it seems the algos have uh, factored in this 52 week low it printed yesterday and they are uh, they've just uh, it has just been projecting everything you know uh we have let's see five uh, no, no how many days uh, six consecutive days of uh, gains that is what it's projecting all the way to Wednesday the 18th it's projecting gains every day it's projecting that it's going to continue to rally every day till the 18th of um, of October there's no there's no there are no further projections from that day the 18th of uh, 18th of October so there's uh, yeah a couple of projections there that the one we have the topmost we have there is a 6.43 but there are indeed also Fibonacci projections so it's it's it was just slightly above the yeah slightly above it's this uh 4.98 uh, actually actually printed um closed um probably closed just right above this upper this uh downward projection of 4.98 yesterday so we have another projection here upper projection of 5.68 a couple of those uh, 10 moving uh, 10 day moving average uh, projections also right there as well that is the projection of um friday the 13th so it's actually a 5.63 so upper projection uh, of uh, 6.11 it's also that is around there uh, where the projection of uh, Thursday the, the 17th for its uh, 10 day moving average is uh, just around there and also just right on the, on the, on another Fibonacci, Fibonacci projection is the projection for Tuesday the 17th it's um, 6.43 dollars it's I know it's um it's uh, sorry Wednesday the 18th of October so and then above that we have uh, 6.7 6.81 dollars then above that we have um, 7.29 above that we have um, 7.88 and then we have 9.71 9.71 9 so let's look at the one minute chart and sorry one week chart and see what it's going on there still still uh, um bullish bullish uh, projections on its uh 10 week moving average 10 week moving average every week by the end of every week um from monday the 16th up till monday the 20th of november it's projected that it's going to continue to have um it's going to remain positive so there's um for Monday the 20th of, of November the projection the topmost which is also the most uh, upper projection is uh, it is um, 8.75 this is it's a uh, 10 week moving average not uh, not it's uh, Fibonacci projection so the Fibonacci projection is uh, it's just resting on one of them which is around uh, 5 point uh, which is around where it is now 5 point uh, okay it's slightly it is slightly below above it's slightly below this so it's, it's actually an upper projection which is 5.57 so outside that there is a uh, 15.57 15 point sorry 15.34 there is uh, 21.48 there is um, 26.48 there is 
that's 8.30 47.16 and uh, 73, 72.84 all of these are on the one week chart so, so let, let's look at the one month uh, chart the one month uh, chart is uh, there are no Fibonacci projections on this chart but the auto regression predicting its uh, moving average is also still very much uh, bullish we have a steep upper projection for the stock so uh, beginning from um, beginning from Wednesday the 1st of November we have 10.76 uh, we have um, Friday the 1st of uh, December we have 12.71 we have um, 17.04 for Tuesday the sorry let's get it properly we have 17.04 uh, for Tuesday the 2nd of January and then we have um, 24.81 for Thursday the 1st of February and then we have 33.93 um, for Friday the 1st of March and then all the way to that is six point one seven dollars for Monday the first of April. So, the in the short to long term, there are in short to medium term, the projections are the, the projections are positive, are bullish. You know, but um, there's no guarantee that uh, all of these, any of these, will pan out. There's no guarantee that will be the case. You know, but um, what we know for sure is happening is that. Uh, the stock has rebounded from the 52 week lows it printed yesterday the 9th of october 2023 the gain is now 4.97 percent so let's look at uh, what's going on here and um, let's see we have uh, so far i want to believe let me guess 14.74 million shares across the table obviously this is the order book and then this is uh, the side of the order book where the market orders are going through uh, the market orders, the bids and the asks of the market orders. So, all of these are uh, these are largely where they these are largely the source of uh, the aggression on uh, any stock at all. You know, so obviously the stock, the 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 orders here or or the, the market participants behind these orders, you know, they just want to get it at uh, the current market price. They're not um, willing to wait for anything. You know, so this has to be the this has to be the ask I want to believe yes this is the ask because we can see they are uh, bidding at okay so this is the bid this is the bid they are um, they have they, they, you can see the prices are higher in other words they're in, in, in indicating that um, they want to sell right now you can see they want to sell at 5.505.533 um, so 5.56 so obviously this is the ask the sell side and then this is uh, the the, sorry, this is the bid, the bid side, the, the bid side, the sell side, and then this is the ask, the buy, the buy side. So we can see lower prices of 4.98, you know, 4. Point, uh, I think 4.97 down there. So yeah, but these orders, uh, these are supposed to help, um, rather the market, the orders from here keep these orders from, um, just keep them in, at, keep, keep prevent them from uh, affect them affect them from really going through you know because um with this uh, sort of aggression if uh, market participants keep placing their orders keep accepting market orders then it will continue to exacerbate because the market will continue to i mean if it's rise or, or, or drop as the case may be to satisfy the orders that are going through you can see how active it is you know so um with this you know the more yeah, uh, the more uh, more market participants want to keep uh, trading on with uh, market orders, then and the more these other sites will be affected. You know, um, so that's that, that's what we are looking at right now. We can see the huge, you can see the huge sizes we are looking at here, waiting to go through twenty two thousand. Some of them are, are some of them are indeed uh, going through. Some indeed uh, are going through, especially the ones that have have um, reached. Okay, so we, so as this, this this is the bid side. This is the ask ask side. So. Yeah, I can see the 5.26 they are going through because the mark that's where the current the price is now but um 4.99 they obviously not going through and then uh, 5.27 we have no we're not seeing anything that's still very much there 20,100 okay that has gone through I think yeah that has gone to through we have the next lot that is uh, 10,200 trying to sell it has gone through yeah um we have they can see that this is 5.3 dollars waiting and expecting and hoping that that will uh, 
turn out to be the case you know so um lcid has uh, just rebounded from the 50, 52 week lows and um the algos are projecting that um it's going to remain positive all the way to april or thereabout but that's a long shot i want i want i mean what i'm, I'm thinking that's a quite a long shot uh, for the next um, five trading sessions, it's also a it, it's it's a long straight as well too, you know. But um, that's um, regardless. That is what's uh, been projected um, um, concerning LCID. Um, yeah, that's what's projected. So um, see what you make of um, LCID, and I'll definitely continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.